collectors, Kyle the Collector here. So, showing off the man himself, Stan. Stan Lee. So this is a Marvel Legends Stan Lee figure. Uh, this is kind of like a bootleg, so you have to get this off eBay for around 30 bucks. Uh, they were going to make this, but it was going to be a Build-A-Figure, and they decided against releasing it for some reason. So maybe they just didn't want people having limbs of Stan and having to put them together or something. It would have been kind of gruesome. But uh, maybe they still had the molds, and this these companies, they just kept the mold and made their own. So here you can see without the glasses. So everything's really detailed. Uh, this is how I display him, right with the Avengers where he belongs. So really glad to have this figure but I just want to talk about Stan himself so he was a big inspiration for me a true legend who was the face for Marvel Comics there are other greats of course like Ditko and the King Kirby but it's, there was something about Stan his witty dialogue although corny was classic and captivating and his inclusiveness of the readers and the diversity of his characters and their backgrounds was pretty huge I met him at uh, Planet Comic Con 2016 and it was the day after my wedding, and when I told him I had just got married, he smiled really big and said, Congratulations! So I really appreciated that. And then to learn more about him, watch the documentary with great power. And you can read the autobiography book, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible, and it's written in comic book form. So in these, he talks about how embarrassed he was from being a comic book writer in the 1950s, and hence his name changed from Stanley Lieber to just Stan Lee, so he wouldn't mess up his actual name for when he wrote the great American novel. Uh, but he was truly in love with his wife Joanne, and she motivated him to write comics how he wanted. And that's what he did with Fantastic Four, and so she's a big part of that. They had a daughter, and their daughter JC was in the media often as someone taking advantage of her father, but Stan only had nice things to say about her. She has had no children, so Stan Lee may not have any direct descendants in the future. Uh, in interviews, he talks about what inspired him to make his characters. Uh, and he was always having the excitement of a young man and always had a smile. And his cameos, of course, were amazing, showed his wit and how outgoing he was. Uh, and he, of course, was at all the premieres and always said his cameos were the best. There are some good figures of him, Lego figures. There's uh, this one. And then here is him as the Watcher. Uh, he lived to an old age, and he was a hero to many generations, and he will be missed. So here he is with Jack Kirby back in the day, sharing a laugh. So that partnership was incredible. Of course, neither one of them could achieve such great success without each other, and that kind of shows when, what they did afterwards, uh, after they broke up their partnership. Still did great stuff, but man, together they were unstoppable. But luckily, they would meet up once in a while, at conventions and it seemed like they were still uh, on good terms although Jack Kirby towards the end did say a lot of negative things about Stanley so that's unfortunate. Stanley also got in trouble with Steve Ditko for telling everybody that he always considered Steve Ditko to be the co-creator because Stan came up with the idea and then Ditko ran away with that and did amazing things with that. Ditko wasn't very happy about how he said he considered, so that was kind of an issue. But I heard that they did run into each other in the early 90s and still talked and everything like that, but barely, unfortunately. And when Stanley passed away, it was a huge loss. He did live to a great age in his mid-90s. Steve Ditko also lived into his 90s as well, which Jack Kirby would have lived a little bit longer. Luckily, I did get to meet him and got his autograph on the Avengers 1 reprint. Just to me, he was definitely the man and he will be missed. 